everyone. Happy Wednesday. I finally got Grant's grooming finished this morning. <laughs> I finally got his legs trimmed. Finally got his toenails trimmed. Um, had to clean up by his butt a little bit more. Had to clean his belly up a little bit more. But I finally got him done. So it's about... It's almost two o'clock now. His appointment to get his recheck. I'm gonna follow him while he does the circles. Um, is at two fifteen. So I got him outside. He did his business. He went number one. Um, but I've got a diaper on him because we're not leaving for another fifteen twenty minutes. So um, I got his harness on him, all ready to go. I have my bedroom door shut so he can't go in his house and fall asleep and then I got to try to drag them out can't go in there right now Grant both the doors are shut to the bedrooms <laughs> he's like what's going on I want to go to bed I had to wake him up to even get him outside to go potty so um oh let me turn on this light a lot of people ask where I've got these harnesses from they're made by Kong um I got them at PetSmart I cannot find them anymore. I can't find them on Amazon anymore, so I can't put a link, link to them um, in the description box. But they're made by Kong. They do sell something a little bit similar, but not this exact one. He's confused why he can't get in the bedroom. Let me see if I walk away, if he'll come out of the... Oh, I gotta put this towel in the dirty clothes. See if he'll walk out of there. If I walk away from the... Yep, here he comes. <laughs> Confused why the door's shut? Hmm. Yeah, let me go let the other boys in. Yeah, so I'm hoping um, that they see the improvement I see with his eye. He's holding it all the way open, looking like normal now. Um, he would not open that eye open, or... He would not open his eyelids um, when this first started and he was in so much pain that he was so lethargic. He, he's acting like his normal self again. Mickey, come on! Why are you over there with your ball? <laughs> he hears me talking to you guys. Whenever he hears me talking to you guys, he wants to play ball. Come on, Mickey! You gotta come in! Come on! You gotta come in. I gotta take Grant to the doctor. Come on. Sorry. We'll play when I get back. Yes. We'll play when I get back. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna ask her. Max, you're messing up my rug. I'm gonna ask her about the eye drops. Let me get them. Let me get them out of my cupboard here. See if I can share them without sharing my info. These are the these are the eye drops he's taking for. Uh, the glaucoma. Hopefully you can see that. I found them on Chewy.com for way cheaper than what my vet sold them to me for. He's having a problem getting back up. Hold on, guys. Okay. He has a problem sometimes with that one hip getting himself back up on the laminate floor or on the hardwood floors so he's an old man yes he's an old man so sometimes we gotta help him out i don't even remember what i was saying now oh the eye drops that bottle of the eye drops at my vet they charged me 58 dollars. i can get them on chewy on my auto ship for 19 and some change ridiculous <laughs> so i've got to check with her too about those eye drops make sure they're the same ones that I'm going to be ordering on Chewy. I'm pretty sure I got the right ones on there. And in the description of that, when I was reading about the eye drops, it said you should use in the other... Miggy! You are so obnoxious! You're so obnoxious! To use them as a preventative in the other eye so they don't get the glaucoma in the other eye. So I need to ask her about that. I'm not, I'm not seeing Dr. Cocaine today. I'm seeing a different doctor because Dr. Cocaine is on vacation. So, um, anyways, so I need to see if maybe I should be putting those eye drops in his other eye as well. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what she says. So, okay. 
I'm going to get some stuff together, put all these guys in their crates, and get ourselves to the vet. And I will check in after our appointment. Grant is not happy. <laughs> he is not happy in this car seat. He wants out. He wants out. Yes, he does. He has a seatbelt tether on. But he is not happy. <laughs> Hopefully he calms down once we get out of the driveway. I've got him in the front seat with me because he's not happy. So that way I can hopefully pet him or kind of hold him still. Um, if he gets too crazy. All right, let's get going. Where did you get to go, Grant? Where did you get to go? Grant got to go see dad at his office. Yeah, now we're heading back home. Um, so, doctor said that the pressure in his eye has improved tremendously. Hold on guys, I'm trying to back up. Grant's just, he's, when he's in the car, this is why he has to have a car seat to be contained. Uh, because he non-stop moves. <laughs> Stop. Um, I call, I say he's tap dancing. Anyway, so doctor said the pressure in both eyes are great. Um, when we took him in last week on Thursday, the pressure in his right eye, which is the one with the glaucoma, was 39. Normal for a dog is 15 to 25. Today, the pressure in his right eye was 14. Grant, you gotta, why don't you just lay down, Grant? Like, no, I want to escape this car seat. Oh my goodness. So, that is great news. Um, the other one's in the normal range, so the other, the left eye is still doing good. Um, gotta keep an eye on it though. She told me that the eye drops will eventually stop working. She said she's had some dogs, the eye drops will only work for three months. And other dogs, the eye drops will last for a couple years, um, keep working. So, um, I've got to keep on his eye for holding his eyes shut. If his eye starts to look bulgy, red on the whites of his eyes. Um, so that's what I got to look for in that eye. Um, that, that's what will happen if the eye drops stop working. So, um, yeah, and then... If they do stop working, that means we would have to discuss if we want to remove his eye. So let's hope these eye drops work for a couple years. And Grant's 15, he turned 15 March 3rd. Um, if they work for a couple years, something else, old age may end up taking Grant. So let's, let's pray that these eye drops keep working for him um, for the rest of his life. So, um, all right, I'm going to get him home. He would not go potty at my husband's office. We walked him around the grassy area. He would not go. So, we're going to get him home so he can go potty. Get the other boys out so they can go potty. All right, let's get these boys out of their houses. <laughs> Go check Grant out because they know he went somewhere. Milo, why you got my shoe? Uh, look at these are my outside shoes. They got grass on them. Poops. 
shoe. I call it my poop shoe, not because it has poop on it, but it's the shoes I wear when I'm picking up poop. And they've got grass all over them. And he went and grabbed my shoe, because he always has to grab a shoe, and brought my nasty poop shoe into the house. A little stinker. I already let Grant, I walked, when we got home, I walked him in the side yard over here, and he went potty. So I'm going to let him be in the house and chill out, chill out um, for a while. He was very stressed being in the car. Um, he used to be a good rider, but as he's gotten older, as with a lot of things, things change. And, um, he's just not a good rider anymore. He wants out of that car seat. <laughs> He wants to roam in the car, and I can't have that. So, um, yeah, so good report, good report from the doctor. Um, besides that, the eye drops will eventually not work anymore. Um, just got to cross our fingers that they last for quite a while for him. I don't know why when people have glaucoma... And if they don't get it under control, do you, do you have to lose your eye? Or my husband said he thinks there's something like they repair the lens or something. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know much about glaucoma, so maybe you guys can fill me in. Maybe because of his age, they would just remove the eye. Um, I don't know. Um, and I'm sure that's quite expensive, removing an eye. Um... So if anybody, I know some of you said that your dogs have had to have an eye or two, or both, I should say, removed. So, um, if you guys, I know pricing's different everywhere. Um, maybe you can let me know how expensive it was. How did, if your dogs were older, how did they do with the surgery, with rec recovering? Um... Mr. Grant has been through so much already. I would hate for him to have to go through that too. So I don't know. We'll have to take it day by day and go from there. Right, guys? That's what you got to do. Day by day and see what happens. So, all right, guys. I'm going to get going. Kick this ball from Miggy for a while. Um, and go sit down and relax. I feel like the past five days have been, it's been oh! Thursday, Friday, Thursday. Yeah, five days have just been so overwhelmingly stressful. It ha was nice though to only, or it is nice now to only have to put the drops in um, in the morning and at night. And I'm so happy they're working. So um, I can kind of just de-stress a little bit now. I'm going to go in, sit, and relax. We're not doing anything else today, Miggy, except play with the boys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll talk to you guys again in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay, I had to jump back on because I keep forgetting to say some thank yous. Um, thank you to Michelle. Michelle has a channel on YouTube called Chickens by the Lake. She was at a thrift store shopping. She loves to um going to thrift stores and finding great treasures like i do um and she found this it's like a bean bag i've never seen anything like it it says made in the philippines the body is like a bean bag and then the head and the feet are ceramic and she said she thought it reminded or she said it reminded her of mr grant so thank you so much michelle i know i already thanked you by message but thank you so much love it um, also a thank you. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right. Aislin. I'll type it on the screen too. Um, thank you so much for the card. Thank you so much for the towel. Love it. And for the gift inside. Thank you so much. Um, Paul, your card is at my PO box. I have not had time to get there. I plan on getting it tomorrow. So I just want you to know, I got a note notification that it was there. Um, I just have not had time to get there. And if anybody's emailed me, messaged me, and you haven't heard back from me yet, I plan on doing that tonight. Um, I've just been so busy. <laughs>
just so busy like like everybody is um so i plan on getting back to everybody tonight but thank you both for the lovely gifts i really do appreciate it uh whenever you guys think of us so all right see you guys in the next video bye bye